What is going on YouTube? This is June again here. I just want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. I hope everyone is being safe and having a good time out there. Uh, today we are going to be working on upgrading the hot side of the turbo. We're going to be doing a little bit of modifications to it, a little bit of porting. I'll show you all that later. Um, and we're also going to be setting up a workbench in the garage. So with all that said, let's go ahead and do this. So first of all, there's a lot of people that was asking what kind of wheels you know I'm running in the car and I'm actually running a VMS 13 by 9 uh, drag wheels with Mickey Thompson's 24 and a half but last year the bumper came loose and ended up slicing the slicks as you can see here but the good news is I was uh, tuning my buddy's car uh, putting a base map on it and he had uh, this um, 24 and a half by 9 Mickey Thompson's that he had sitting around and I basically got this for free in exchange of all the work that I did for his car. So anyway, here is our little project for the day. Uh, my neighbor actually was going to throw this cabinet away and I woke up real early in the morning and I saw it outside and I figured well, you know, I kind of needed a workbench for the longest time so, you know, long story short, I pulled it into my garage, bolted my bench grinder to it and I'm currently on the process of bolting uh, the heavy duty vice is actually I just got this off of Harbor Freight. Uh, this was originally $69. I paid I think $48 for it. Just the fact that it's 4th of July and you had a 25% off. And I had to make sure that I have a great 8 bolts. Um, not in washers. The bottom washers goes, the big washers goes on the bottom and the smaller washers goes on the top. So the goal for today is to port and knife edge the hot side of this turbo uh, I don't know if you guys remember but when I got this turbo I had an 81 hot side and um, here I found a, a bigger hot side which is a 1.0 um, AR from a buddy John that Boosty built so shout out to John for hooking it up um, but the only thing is that I have a open T4 manifold so what we're trying to do is to knife edge the center of the housing but we're not going to be removing a whole lot of material, just the fact that we, we don't want to weaken uh, the whole center section of the, of the housing. So here's the uh, housing that I just finished porting and as you can see I did uh, knife edge the middle. I didn't remove a lot of material, I just made sure that I cleaned up um, everything around it. That way there's no dead spot at high boost 